Aloha everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I posted a regular video, not a music video, and I hope you guys are checking out the music. Anyhow, it's a cooking video, so I'm gonna make this fast because I'm the type of person, when I'm watching cooking videos, I'm like, can we get to the point? So, first I'm gonna show you guys my ingredients and then you'll be able to see everything. Check out Live Above. They have uh, some great apparel. So I'm gonna shout them out. <laughs> Visit them on Instagram at liveabove.co. Let's get into it. Today I'm cooking Rasta Pasta. If you know me, you know I like to cook and I like to make different dishes, but this time I'm making Rasta Pasta with um, spaghetti squash. So this is the first time I've tried it with spaghetti squash. Usually I use panne or um, the little smaller uh, noodles. So let's get into it. It's a new, yeah, a new me. I'm chasing paper light, light, like it's loose leaf. Kobe Bryant with the clutch three. No looking back, cause I got, I got, I got big dreams. He writes my verse, I put him first and never read things. Cause it's been times when I've been down and I had nothing. Somehow I ended up in paradise and life's nice. Ate away, living pineapples and crushed ice. Aloha spirits, we on good vibes. West, what I just live a good life from the city where the pigs fly. Now I'm lucky, lucky that that I live, live out. Okay, 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 let's play. Hangman, hangman, that's how I play. Monkey see, monkey do. If you play me, then I'ma play you. He got the sauce, I got the juice. You mix the two, we call it stew. Riri, she call it Peggy Sue. My pull up, she popped the trunk and let it brew. Ocean breeze and blowing trees, blowing through my mind with these. Surfing sea was made for me. Palm trees somehow make my day. Sunshine shining every day. Thank you, God, you let me stay. So to you, I give you praise. All right, guys. The one part that I did not show you how to do was to cook the uh, spaghetti squash. So just so you know, it comes whole and it looks like this inside. And what you do is cut it in half. It is not easy to cut, but the job can be done and it's healthy for you. <laughs> Better than using pasta all the time if you want to get rid of those, you know, fatty spots. Anyhow, cut the spaghetti or squash in half turn your oven on 350 I used oil and I used Italian herb seasoning and just a little bit of um, adobo seasoning just to season the actual spaghetti squash and then you just put it in the oven flip it over let it cook or make I like mine to be soft so it's completely up to you how you like your texture of your spaghetti squash but I like to cook mine soft enough the way I like my noodles soft so I cook mine maybe like about an hour or an hour and a half that way it's nice and soft before I um, take it out the oven. Once you take it out the oven, it's very hot, so you want to let it sit just a little bit before you start scraping out the sides. Just scrape everything to the middle. If you cook it soft enough, it'll just scrape very easily. And then you just scoop it out, dump it into your mixture of the um, bouillon cube or chicken broth along with your vegetables and heavy whipped cream and mix it all in along with the cheese, you can use Parmesan, or I use six, uh, mixed cheese, and a little bit of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. You don't have to use cream cheese. I only use cream cheese because it gives it more of a creamy taste when you're working with uh, baked spaghetti squash. Regular noodles, no need. All right, you guys, this is the final. So I just wanna show you guys, I made me a little bit of salmon to go along with it. But you can just eat the pasta by itself because it's very fulfilling. But here it is. Mm. 
enjoy. All right, we're gonna try this thing out. First time doing it with spaghetti squash. Mm-hmm. Bussin'. <laughs> See how I'm in bussin'? Mm-hmm. You know, get your little glass of wine to go along with it. That's it. That's all good, folks. 